All right, I'm in Cabo San Lucas. It is November 24th at 8:21, and the sun just got really strong. It was uh, cloudy for a while, but it just got really strong. It's very bright now, but look at this view. So I know we've planned a couple things already, um, like four wheeling in the desert, zip lining, um, some crazy fun stuff. I think the first thing I'm going to do is send a drone up just to admire how spectacular this view is. Alright, so we are back at our room. Uh, this is our view. Uh, we can see the ocean. Kind of have a little bit of a backyard since we're on the first floor. Um, the upper ones have a straight out view of the ocean and the pools and everything. We lose a little bit of that, but it's nice. Uh, anyways, I think we're going to go on a uh, boat ride. It's a dinner and we can go look at the different rock formations and everything. So that'll be pretty interesting. And then we'll just go from there. a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la república dominicana la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la república dominicana la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata la La casa del merengue, la 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 la, y la casa de la bachata. Hey! All right, so it's 6:18 a.m. I'm up with the groundskeeping crew, as you can hear. They're over here working. Anyways, the reason I'm up is for sunrise. Um, I'm gonna go down to the beach and hopefully get a good sunrise. As you can see, it is kind of starting over here. So I've flown down in this spot twice now, but I was a little late to sunrise yesterday. So I'm gonna go try and catch it today, but I really need to find some, some new spots to fly. So I've never traveled with a drone before um, by plane, but I got one that's small enough, so I brought it. So far, I'm glad I did. Bringing it in was way easier than I thought. Just put it in a carry-on. I never even opened it or anything. I thought for sure they'd have to take it out and check it out, or I did something wrong or something. But no, it was way too easy. However, I do think I found my fly spot. If you can kind of see some of those houses clear out in the horizon, that's where we are flying right now. So we are over a thousand feet away, still have great connection, but there you can see we are flying to those houses right now. I right, just an update, we are 2,000 feet away completely in this town. Thank you. 
All right, so it's 10.40 on Tuesday. Been here for one full day, pretty much two days between when I got here and then now half days. So pretty much two full days, um, but it's a beautiful day. It's 10.40, but it feels like it's three o'clock since I've been up since six. Uh, so plan for today, we are gonna go ride four wheelers. I have my GoPro, of course, but I forgot anything that I need to go with it. I don't even have the case for it. So I can't put it on any mounts, which I don't have or a harness, which I don't have. My plan was just put it on my chest, ride whatever, two hands. Don't even, yeah. But I'm still gonna use it. We'll just have to be a little more creative. All right, so we were here on our four-wheeler ride. I gotta kind of hide my phone because we're not supposed to have any cameras because there's a camera person, but I have camera and GoPro. Haven't been able to get the, the send it shots because I don't have a chest mount, but I think I've gotten some cool stuff. They go in the mud, the whole ATV. So when they come back full of mud, all you gotta do is just rinse it down and, and you know, no mud Slides attaches. Right yes. <laughs> So yesterday the four-wheeling was a lot of fun. Our tour guide was really good. Um, I didn't expect that much. I thought it was gonna be just a ride slow, him point out things, but it was not. We rode pretty fast. Me and the tour guide, he put me right behind him because um, he liked the way I rode and we rode fast. Went off ramps and got sideways and stuff. So it was a lot of fun. Um, we were out there for about an hour and a half. And yeah, so what brought me up here was flying. Um, so. I'm up quite a ways, gonna fly the drone, hopefully see the resort, hopefully see the houses behind me, some of the hills. The issue is my flight time's about 13 minutes. It's a little windy, so maybe drop it down to 10. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna start with the resort because it's kind of far and high, and then bring it back towards the houses because it's closer to me, so if something does happen, at least I know where the drone is if it falls before I get it back.
All right, so flight was uh, better than I thought it might have been. Um, I got nine minutes, and I came back with 19%, so I probably could have got 10. But there's my flight path, and um, yeah, so I think I got a pretty good flight. Got out to the resort, got to the houses behind me. Um, yeah, so now I got to hike down, figure out what we're doing today. Uh, it's supposed to rain later. It's been pretty overcast all day. It's supposed to rain later, so I doubt we'll do our zip lining today, but find something to do, and uh, yeah, we'll just see where it takes us. All right, so just an update. It is very dark outside and storming, as you can see. It's super cool, so I had to check it out, get some video, and yeah, it's super cool. that we were not in a good area. I, uh, I didn't get much video, but I got a lot of great photos that I'm gonna play now. I'm out at the beach. This is my view. I'm up on the uh, like left right there. So I have a great view. I'm doing a time lapse to see if I get a preview of the sunrise. There's the ocean. But, anyways, uh, yeah, today we're going zip lining. We depart at 950, so that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, one of them is 300 feet high and eight football fields long, so that'll be pretty crazy. Um, so going back to what we did yesterday, uh, we were going to some glass blowing shop and the guide at the sister resort told us to take some way that we found very interesting streets of people and cars and just a very different lifestyle. So that was really cool to photograph. Um, and then someone who didn't look like they belonged there, likewise to us, um, recognized that we didn't belong there and asked us if we were lost and told us that it wasn't a good part of the area and that we should probably leave uh, but it was very cool to check out I really want to do once we left that area get out of the area and then fly my drone back into the area um, but I wanted to also save it for sunset which I there ended up not being a sunset so I really should have but whatever I got some really cool photos and 
I'll obviously insert those, probably already did, so yeah. We are now hiking up to the top zip one. This is the last one, it's called Superman. You lay out with your stomach down, looking forward. So that should be pretty cool, it's the last one. But we have a hike to get to it. It's 1,650 feet in length, 270 feet tall. All right, so as you can see behind me, that is a pretty good sunset. Um, it's the first time I've seen a sunset here. Uh, we've been out or doing something whenever else. But yeah, ziplining was really fun. Um, couldn't use my GoPro really at all, because most of them you had to put your hands on to break, or the last one that was really cool, that was eight football fields long and three, 400 feet up, I can't remember. Um, they like strapped your arms in and then put a GoPro on you that you had to pay for to get the video. The video was pretty cool, but it wasn't worth like $200 to pay for. So it's kind of a shame, but I still got some other good footage of other stuff. And uh, yeah, so now it is our last night here. We leave tomorrow at 10 a.m. So we're gonna figure out what to do. Might go into downtown or might just eat here. Don't know yet.